we believe that this message will be a blessing to you so I want you to stay glued and watch to the end and share to bless others this is Christocentric we have a lot of Apostle Eric Nyamiche's message on our platform kindly check them out thank you for watching stay blessed considering the state of the world today I want to make a passionate appeal that men and women of prayer will arise. You see, what today's Christian lack is, is tenacity, staying power, See, prayer is war. In Bible, we need staying power. The Bible says he teaches our hands to war. And he told us our enemy that we are not fighting against flesh and blood. Paul assumed that the church in Ephesus they knew about the fact that they were in battle with the enemy. So he told them we are not fighting against flesh and blood. So we are fighting. And the weapons of our warfare, according to Paul, he says they are not carnal. But they are, they are mighty through God. And it's able to pull down strongholds. You see, we need same power. When the enemy is still with the sword, you cannot say I have prayed enough. Let me say that again. When COVID-19 is still threatening us. Coronavirus, any air queen. You can't say I, I fasted yesterday and that is okay. We need staying power. As long as the enemy is still with the sword, you cannot say I have prayed enough. Isaiah chapter 62, verse 1. Then I'll jump to 6 and now, 7. Mehriako in the Chemuncian and song. Isaiah 62. Odifo is there a woman who tell you, see me, verse 1. In the Chemubako. For Zion's sake, I will not keep silent. See, Auntie Mary Muamano. For Jerusalem's sake, I will not remain quiet. Now, Jerusalem, Tim, me, you come till. Her vindication shines out like the dawn. Her salvation like a blazing touch. Now verse 6 says this. I have posted watchmen on your walls. Jerusalem. Oh, Jerusalem. They will never be silent day or night. You who call on the Lord, give yourself no rest. And give him no rest. Give yourself no rest. And give him the almighty God no rest he establishes Jerusalem Jerusalem and make her the praise of the earth now one important word that I was stressing in the reading is the word till I, for Jerusalem's sake, Jerusalem I will not remain quiet till her vindication shines out like the dawn. For, for Ghana's sake, 
We will not remain silent until we have wiped this COVID-19 completely from this earth. We have to battle too. And this is what today's Christians lack. The, the same power. Fighting to the victory is in our hands. And I want to arouse you into prayer. Let us arise to the occasion. And battle and save our world. For our God is still the omnipotent creator God. The Bible says what is bound on earth to be bound in heaven. As long as we are binding God will arise. I want to call you back to prayer. Back to praying until COVID-19 is totally eradicated. Verse 7 says, and give yourself no rest. And give him no rest. Jesus told a parable of this woman in Luke chapter 18. When he was trying to use her to teach us prevailing and traveling prayer. He says that this woman will always go to the judge. Say, judge, please arise and then do justice for me. He said that this judge, he didn't fear God, neither did he fear any man. But for the woman's persistence, he rose and gave judgment. Give yourself no rest. And give God no rest. This is scripture. Let us pray to God arises. And his enemy scattered. I pray in the name of Jesus. You see, watchmen were posted on the walls of cities in the ancient times. Theirs was to guard the city. Look out for the enemy and attack. They watched while others slept. They were strong. They were tough men. Tough men who can withstand tough conditions. They watch in the night. They watch in the night when all men are asleep. They watch men with staying power. They do not give up. Because once they give up, they give the whole city up to the enemy. So this is to watch. Jesus said, watch and pray. Yes, was to watch. See, watchmen should be able to cause effect. Once you are watching, you should be able to cause effect. Isaiah 56 verse 10 says this Israel's watchmen are blind they all lack knowledge they are all mute dogs they cannot back they lie around and dream what did the heart not was so a die? They love to sleep. Not what dog and not. If you have watchman like that, then that watchman is useless. Now say, who ye? Who were or when for to say, not or when for who name for so be? You should be able to back. As I said, what to me a boom? They should be able to cause effects. As I said, what to me map be BSE for their sake. The city dwellers should have confidence that enemies will not come because of the watchmen. As I said, I went for 
Wanga wa wa on my numunya and what so say, or time for be into me and beton shall one is answer, what we are in for. But if they love to sleep, Nasa what do and now they give up the whole city, one tongue or my money to the enemy, Emma or time for no. Israel's watchmen are blind. Israel and for I and they all lack knowledge. Why now, what name they? They all are mute dogs. Why now, I are cramming and what you cannot back. Want to me and mom, lie around. What did that ho and dream? Now, what soon are they love to sleep? Sleep. Now what do and not if you falter in the time of trouble, a bra or how abano say we am from swa. How small is your strength? And then our whole day is a cry. See when you are supposed to watch, bra is a warrior and you sleep. Say what da? Then how small is your strength? And then our whole day is a cry. In the day of difficulty, bra a mu ya day. That is where you must show strength. A brim ne say what you are whole day. If in challenging times, a bra a mu ya day. Now you falter. Then he says that your strength is weak. These are not times for Christians to be sleeping. We are the watchmen of our cities. These are not times for ministers and pastors to be sleeping. We are in challenging times now. It is now selling further water and saying that you have anointing. You have to prove it so that Ghana will be free. Let the genuine pastors rise and be watchmen and save this city. These are tough times. Now, when you falter, then your strength is weak. He says that rescue those who are being led away. Led away to death. Hold back those staggering towards slaughter. Many of our countrymen are staggering towards slaughter. Many of the world's people are moving towards death because of COVID 19. I pray that Christians will show strength. Because these are days of trouble. Let us rise to be real watchmen and watchmen. You see, in Mark chapter 9, Jesus went up to the mountain to pray. With Peter, James, and John. Up there on the mountain, they saw Jesus. Countenance change. There was Moses and Elijah. No, they enjoyed the environment. The presence of those great people. But whilst they were there, three out of twelve. So how many were down there? Nine. Something was happening there. Let's go and read what was happening. Mark chapter 9 from verse 14. When they came down to the other disciples, they saw a large crowd around them and teachers of the law arguing with them. As soon as all the people saw Jesus, they were overwhelmed with wonder and ran to greet him. The hope of the world. When they saw him, they ran to greet him. What are you arguing with them about? No, Jesus was asking the disciples. A man in the crowd answered. Teacher, I brought you my son. Who is possessed by a spirit that has robbed him of speech. Whenever it seizes him. Now look at the expression. The issue is not about flesh and blood. The man is saying that something seizes the son. 
Papa ne say bibi e chre e ba no. He described that as an evil spirit which is causing the son to be dumb. Na o chre se e ye hon moni bi ne ma ne ba ne e ye mu. Speechless. Onto minka sa. He's not able to speak. Na onto minka sa. Whenever it seizes him. Na bebi a ra e so ni mu no. It throws him to the ground. E ma no sen sen. He foams at the mouth. Na na no retra e huru. Nashes his feet. And becomes rigid. I ask your disciples to drive out the spirit. Then listen. But they could not. Nati. Na went to me. Could not means could not. Went to me. These are disciples. Where you Won the church in Ghana to show strength. That Christian show strength. A Christopher and Sorin Chrahwadin. Let them show some weight. One Sorin Chre to me. They could not. Went to me. This is the man's report. They could not means they tried. Went to me, they said, were born home modern. But and so they couldn't. They tried. Look at the man's disappointment. You unbelieving generation, Jesus replied. How long shall I stay with you? How long shall I put up with you? Bring the boy to me. So they brought him. When the spirit saw Jesus. It immediately threw the boy into convulsion. He fell to the ground and rolled around. Foaming at the mouth. Jesus asked the boy's father. How long has he been like this? From childhood. He answered. It has often thrown him into fire or water to kill him. But if you can do anything, take pity on us and help us. Now, you see, look at the boy's father's question. And then look at Jesus' answer. The man says that Papa ne say But if you can do anything na say wo betumi aye ho biribia If you can do say wo betumi aye ho biribia anything e ho biribia But if you can do anything na say wo betumi aye ho biribia Take pity on us and help us Any ho ye mobo na bo aye If you can na Jesus say wo say say wo betumi a you are standing before me and you are asking me if I can. The issue is not about me. I am the almighty. A God who is able. You don't stand before Jesus and question whether he can. So Jesus said, what, what are you saying? If I can. Now Jesus say, Ah, I then I walk in. Said me to me, everything is possible for one who believes. Nyo me ni na be to me ayama won amadi ojidi. The problem is with you. Ah, how no ever wo ho. Immediately the boy's father exclaimed. Ah, wa na abere man ni papa eyi ano. I do believe. Help me to overcome my unbelief. Me jidi bua me jimi. When Jesus saw that. The crowd was running to the scene. He rebuked the impure spirit. You deaf and mute spirit, he said. I command you, come out of him. And never enter him again. Hmm. The spirit convulsed him violently and came out. The, the boy looks so much like a corpse that many said he's dead. Na abemu wano na otise owufo na nipa pika se wewu. 
But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him to his feet and he stood up. Now listen to this one. After Jesus had gone indoors, his disciples asked him privately, why couldn't we drive out? Why couldn't we drive it out? Why, Master? Why couldn't we? Because we tried. But then you just came and the demon saw you and the demon is screaming. He replied, This kind can come out only by prayer. The King James would, would say through prayer and fasting. This kind. This kind. There are certain things that need prayer. This kind. This kind can come out only by prayer. You see, prayer is a spiritual exercise. So what Jesus meant was that this kind needed some spiritual muscles. Now listen to that again. Prayer is a spiritual exercise. So he's telling them that your strength is small. You need spiritual muscles. When COVID-19 is covering the whole world. With fear and threatening lives. This kind. We need some spiritual muscles. And we need to pray too. The watchmen should arise and pray too. We need some spiritual Moses to be able to face this force. Scripture says in James 3, 4 or take ships as example. Although they are so large and are driven by strong winds because ships are large it needs strong winds to push it. This challenge that we have is a big one. It needs strong winds to push Push it. And I want to call watchmen to be battle ready. Let Let us fight till victory comes into our hands. This kind it cannot come out but by prayer. Ships are big. Therefore, they need strong winds to push it. In tough times, we need tough men. I want to call you to prayer. And fasting. And I'm praying for men and women who will join me to pray to ah, save our land and save the nations. Tough times. For tough men, strong watchmen who will not sleep on duty. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Elijah teaches us how to use prayer to turn national catastrophe around. How to use prayer to turn national catastrophe around. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you will be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Elijah was a human being. Even as we are, he, he prayed earnestly that it will not rain and it did not rain for three and a half years. Again, he prayed and the heavens
heavens gave rain. And the earth produced its crops. Now listen, my interest is in verse 16. See, the prayer of a righteous man it's powerful and effective. But I like the King James. King James. He says that the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man. Brothers, all of us who are born again, we are righteous in him. But you see, the prayer of the righteous was described. The kind of prayer that Elijah prayed is qualified. Empire that which is able to produce the desired effects. Empire and there is a certain kind of prayer Empire. which is able to produce the desired effects. Empire Effectual also means in plentiful. Adequate enough. Empire a dorsal. There are certain kind of prayer that should be able to be adequate. It must be enough to produce a certain kind of desire. As Effectual, I then say fervent. In Osaka and Paiba, I know your day. Passionate intensity. And Paiba, a muya ding. The Bible says, and the church prayed endlessly. Naturally, say, Empire, a bompire, ding, 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 ara. Jesus prayed, and the Bible says that he was sweating, and it was like blood. Now, yes, you bompire, naturally, say, all bompire, now, or team fifri, now, none in fifri, to say, moja at all at all. Prayer that changes nations and wipes away issues like this. Brothers, when the rain was about to come during Elijah's time, this is what the scripture says in 1 Kings 18 And Elijah said to Ahab, Go eat and drink. For there is the sound of a heavy rain. So Ahab went off to eat and, and drink. But Elijah climbed to the top of Camel. Now, so Elia there or fro call camel be possible. Listen to the Bible say, bend down to the ground. Now, or see in it rase. Put his face between his knees. Go and look towards the sea. He told his servant. Hmm. And he went up and looked. There is nothing there. He said. Seven times Elijah said, Go back. Effectual. 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 A lot of prayer. A lot of prayer. A lot of prayer. He's desiring some effects. And he's praying till. Go back. The seventh time the servant reported. A cloud as a man's hand is rising from the sea. So Elijah said, Go and tell Ahab, Pitch up your chariot and go down before the rain stops you. Go down before the rain stops you. The next verse. Meanwhile, the sky grew black with clouds, now, and the wind rose. A heavy rain came down, and Ahab rode off to Jezreel. Now, Ancha and the Wimu Ayakusu, now in Sufra, says her Eto, and from my a boy, now Ahab, a granny called Jezreel. Effectual fervent prayer. And Pabo, I knew your dinner at Dawson. He prayed, Obompire, lifted up his eyes, Opejanini, still. 
There were no clouds. He, he prayed, prayed again. He prayed again. The Bible says that says, for Jerusalem's sake, I will not remain quiet till her vindication shines out like a dawn. Give yourself no rest and give him no rest. Give yourself no rest and give him no rest. Till he establishes Jerusalem Jerusalem and make her the praise of the earth. One day Jesus touched a blind man's eye. Then he asked him, What do you see? He says, I see men like trees. Walking. He didn't just leave him. Because he had something that he desired. So he attacked him again. The man saw clearly. We have been praying. But let's keep praying. Till God comes down. And wipe this COVID-19 from the earth. Men of prayer are needed. Watchmen. Who will not give sleep to their eyes. Till God arrives. See, watch men. They do that with great expectation for the morning. See, once they are watching in the darkness, what they are hoping for is the dawn. They watch till they break. So they are expecting the day to break. They do that confidently in the darkness. Waiting for the day to break. Psalm 130 verse 6. I wait for the Lord more than watchmen wait for the morning. More than watchmen wait for the morning. See, when the morning finally comes, watchmen, they will give a sigh of relief. They heave a sigh of relief. So that is what they are expecting. Until what we are expecting is in our hands. Let us not stop praying. Till God vindicates the land, comes and saved us. Listen, your watchmen lift up their voices. Isaiah 52 and 8. Odi for Isaiah 18 de numi unu chiche mu watre. Together they shout for joy. Now when the Lord returns to Zion, they see it with their own eyes. That is all that the watchmen are expecting. When the Lord turns the captivity around, say, watchmen say, Praise God. Let us pray till we see joy on the land. Let us begin to pray that the infection goes to zero, 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 zero. When the Lord restores the fortune of Zion, we were like those who dreamed. I don't know if I'm going to We were like those who dreamed. Our mouths were filled with laughter. Our tongues with songs of joy. Then it was said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. And we are filled with joy. Until it happens so. Let's watch men not keep quiet. Give yourself no rest. And give him no rest. Give him no rest. So he fills the land with joy again. Restore our fortunes, Lord. Like streams of the Those who sow with tears. Reap 
with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying seeds to sow, will return with songs of joy. Carrying sheep with them. This is what we are expecting. But it will happen by the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man. For Zion's sake, I will not keep silent. For Jerusalem's sake, I will not remain quiet till her vindication shines out like the dawn. Her salvation like a blazing torch. Give yourself no rest. And give him also no rest. Till he comes down. And brings joy to us. God bless us.